Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how you can take a Luma AI scan, and this actually can apply to other photogrammetry and even Sketchfab models that don't have any animations and are just posed in an A, for, in an a pose or a T pose. So, for example, this is just a single pass I did with video. This is just a real quick one, and I'm just going to show. I, I was just uh, want to see how fast I could do a body scan, and I'm going to show you how you can animate this just for fun. So, uh, let's do this. So let's go back out to Luma. I uh, this is the Master Chief one that you've already maybe seen some videos of. Let's go to Luma AI. Let's download this model. We're just going to download the GLB. You can download an OBJ as well. We're just going to download the uh, GLB. Now, Mixable requires FBX files, okay? Now, the FBX files do not translate. Uh, when we export from a GLB from Luma AI, uh, we have to convert to an FBX. So let's show you how to do this as well and clean it up. When we open up the model, you'll notice that it has a lot of extra data around it, okay? So we're gonna clean that up real fast. So let's just open up Blender. We're just gonna go General. We're just gonna clear the canvas. I'm gonna go File, Import. I'm just gonna to go to where our GLB is. We're just gonna go Downloads. Now that the file's in here, we can go to the top and go Shading, just to ensure that our textures are there. Perfect. I'm going to go back out to layout. I'm going to go to from object mode to edit mode, just in the upper left hand corner. Once we do that, it automatically highlights everything for us the first time. What we're going to do is we're coming down to the left hand side on the toolbar and choose. There's a, if it's not already open, there's a command or a tool that says knife. We're just going to long press with the mouse button, do not let go, and then just go select bisect. Once we have the bisect tool selected, we can come over here. What we're going to do is draw a straight line. We're going to push the mouse button in, leave it, and we're just going to drag across. We're just draw, drawing a line. It will automatically, uh, there we go. I'm going to let go of the mouse button. We now have a tool down here that's not, you have to actually expand it. So we're, it's called bisect, but it's going to open it up. Now we have the option to clear inner or clear outer. Anything uh, on this side of the arrow is outer. And then on this side of the line is inner. So in this case, we're going to clear outer. So now I'm just going to select the model again, make sure everything's highlighted. And I'm just going to fast forward through this. I'm just going to do a time lapse. And uh, I might get to the next important stop step. I will stop and uh, let you know what that next step is. Okay, what I'm going to do at this spot is I'm going to grab everything one more time. I'm going to grab the bisect tool. I'm just going to come over near one of the, one of the, uh, the feet here. I'm just going to grab the mouse. I'm just going to move my bisect tool along. And just We can raise it and lower it so you can see what's happening here. We're just going to find a nice little level line so that both the feet are getting uh, clipped off equally. And we're going to go clear inner. There'll be some extra artifacts here. I'm going to quickly clean those up as well. And we'll get to the next step. All right, now that we have Dan extracted from all that uh, extra uh, geometry, we're just gonna go back to object mode. And I'm going to go file, save as. We're just gonna call this uh, Dan scan. I'm gonna go save as. Now this next port step is the most important. What you wanna do is go file, external data, unpack all files, unpack all into files. Write files to current directory, overwrite existing files on the next prompt when it comes up. Once that's done, go file and save. Okay. Now we're going to go file, export, FBX, and we're going to come over here to where it says path mode. Okay. So on the right hand side, you'll see where it says path mode and it defaults to auto. We are going to make sure we select copy and we're going to make sure there's a little grayed out box and we're going to go embed textures. Now we're going to export FBX. Now when we bring it into, into Mixamo, all of our geomet all of our uh, textures will be there as well. So we don't have to go back and re-embed them later on. It just saves you time and a lot of grief later on. So now that we have that, we are going to go to Mixamo. All right. If you've never been to Mixamo before, you go to Mixamo.com, create an account, it's free. I'm going to go browse animations, upload character, and I'm going to browse to that new file we just made, and here we go. 
This was empty. This whole folder was empty before we extract we extracted those textures. So there's all of our textures for this uh, for this model, a lot of textures. So we're just going to go Dan scan FBX. All right, now that Dan came in, don't worry about the texture quality right now. That's not it'll be better when we bring it back into their software. So here we have Dan. Let's go next. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, line up these items with with the body. OK, so we're going to go chin. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So now that the auto rigging is done, we have a default animation. So it makes just it looks it all looks good to me. We're going to go next. We're going to overwrite the existing character that was there that we can't see at the moment. So we got Dan swimming, but we don't want that. So let's just uh, what we want to do is go dance. Actually, we'll pick the category dance. There we go. So we can just apply a quick little animation to Dan. There we go. So now I could just uh, let's just pick a different one. We got lots here. We could be look, we could look at these all day. All right. So like that. So I'm just going to go download. And the only option is FBX all the way or a Collada file DAE. So we'll just leave it on the binary. We'll leave everything as is. We will go download. All right. We're going back to Blender one more time. We're going to go file. Import uh, FBX. And we're just going to go to our downloads, grab that file. We are not going to touch anything. We're going to leave it the system as is when it comes in. All right, we're not going to touch anything. We're just going to go file. If, if anything, we can just go shading just to make sure that all the textures are there and they are. So we're going to go file, export, GLTF 2.0, leave it on our Dan scan folder. And we'll leave it, everything else as. I'm going to go export GLTF 2.0. So now we've got studio.worldcast.io open. We can simply pick showcast right in the middle. We'll go select. We'll call this Dan scan. We'll pick a size. I'm mean, going to go feet. Actually, I'll go inches. Go 72 inches. We got how tall he is. We will go create. Now, all these, all these squares are inches. So let me go back out here. Let me go to cast, view cast. Let me change this to feet. Let's just put it around six feet and go update. Now the grids will change. Now, so each one of these represents a foot now. That's just another way that you can actually design in reality as well. So we're gonna to go to uh, 3D. We're gonna select the file and we're going to grab this Dan scan GLB that we've made. We're gonna go upload 3D object and there is Dan dancing. So we could add other objects. We could add more uh, multiple content, just like we did here. We could add text. We could add audio. We could add a few other models. In this case, I'm just going to go save, save and publish. Once it comes up here, I'm going to scan the QR code. There we go. Well, let's look at that. Open it up, and we'll simply place the content of Dan dancing, and there we go. So this exact same process can be applied to other models that are exported from other software. So this can be done from Polycam. This can be even done with models from uh, Sketchfab. In this case, this, these two models here, they were not originally rigged. They were just A-pose and T-pose models that I brought into Mixmo and added a thriller animation to. They, before, they were not rigged at all. And yeah, it's just really fast and easy to do and have fun. So I hope that helps people out and, and helps you understand how to bring models from Blender into uh, Mixamo to be able to get the right import and export going on, okay? So I can't wait to see what you create.